Hi, Billy Turnbow here with the Cisco TAC Applications Team. Today I want to show you how to work with Jabber Contacts on the Bulk Administration Tool for IMED Presence. The Bulk Administration Tool, or BAT, will allow us to backup, restore, and update the Jabber Contacts for users. And this is very important because where most of the configuration on Presence has been shifted to the Communications Manager server, the individual contact lists for Jabber users remain only on the present server. The clients themselves do not retain these. So if a present server is lost and there is no backup, the contacts that users have created for themselves are gone. Let's take a look at how the bulk administration tool works with Jabber clients. From the presence web administration page, the bulk administration menu is available here. This menu only shows up on the primary presence server and not on the subscriber. But there is a way to recover the contact database from the subscriber that we'll take a look at later. Here I have a Jabber client with three added contacts. As you can see, they are also separated into two groups. Now let's go to the presence bulk administration tool and then the contact list option. You can see three items to either update, export, or rename the contact list. We'll focus on the export and update options for the scope of this video. Let's export the list of contacts from the present server. You'll typically want to choose the default option to export all users in the cluster, but you do have several options. I'm going to choose to only export the contact list for users that are assigned to presence, and then click Find. I only have four users in my presence cluster, and here they are. Click Next and create a file name for your export. Then we'll choose to run this job immediately and submit the request. Once submitted, you can go to the Job Scheduler menu to review the results. If you don't see the status as completed, the job is either still running or it may have encountered issues, which can be observed by clicking the link to the job ID. Issues can occur if there are syntax errors or mismatches for the contact records, and the job report can provide some insight to that. Once the job has completed successfully, you can choose the Upload Download Files menu in Bulk Administration and click Find. This will provide the list of all files collected from BAT. Choose the file and then the Download option. The exported file can be opened in any spreadsheet program where we can see the full details of the users. Now, if you only wanted the contact list as a backup, then you can retain this file as is. But if you want to make any updates to the contact list for multiple users, you can do whatever is needed from a spreadsheet application. For example, let's change Amy Williams' contact from Group 1 to Group 2. Now we'll save the file. The Upload Download Files menu will be used as before to send the updated contact list back to the server. This time you will choose the option Add New and browse to the contact list file. Then the target and transaction type must be chosen for the file. This will determine where the contact file can be imported. For Jabber Contact List, we need to choose the contact list target. And this time, we will choose to update the contact list from the bulk administration menu. The contact list file just uploaded is available from the drop down menu, and we'll run this job immediately. Now, when I go back to the Jabber user client, we can see the contact changed from group 2 to group 1. If the Jabber user has added any custom contacts that are not part of the presence cluster, there is a second menu to review from the bulk administration menu. To show you what that looks like, I'm going to add a custom contact in Jabber. Since this contact is not part of the presence cluster, we can fill out the forms however we want. From the Jabber contact list, this contact appears alongside the others. However, if we were to export the full contact list, this custom contact will be missing.
because the contact is not from the presence cluster environment, she is considered a non-presence contact. We must use the non-presence contact list menu for this. Just like the presence contact list, we must create a file and run the job, and it will show up as another file to download. The steps to update or import the non-presence contact list are the same, just using the non-presence menu options instead. Now the question at this point is what happens when the bulk administration tool is inaccessible from the presence web administration page? Can the contact list be retrieved another way? In fact, it can. From the command line interface, we can type run SQL select star from rosters and get a rough output of the full contact database. This is not in the same format as what the bulk administration tool export provides, but it is close. There is a much more specific command for that if needed, but it would be best to involve TAC at this point as the output does not necessarily fully match the BAT export file. Likewise, there is also a similar command for non-presence users, and it is run SQL select star from non-presence contacts. Where the bulk administration tool is only available on the presence publisher administration page, both commands can also be run on the subscriber node on recent presence versions. I hope the information provided in this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.